Hey, what's up everybody? I'm back with an all-new Red Dead Redemption video. It's on the Expert Hunter outfit, and this outfit's going to give you the benefit of receiving double amount of skin and hides from hunting. So, there's five scraps you have to complete. The first one is harvest 5,000 pounds of meat. Now, there's no secret to doing this. Just go and kill animals and just skin them. I killed a lot of bears, and I found that mostly in the north near the end of the game. You can really kill anything though, honestly. It doesn't even matter. Just bears give the most meat, right? But then you kill what you like, skin it of course, and it'll count toward that scrap. Now scrap two is kill a cougar with a stick of dynamite. You're gonna wanna go to plain view for this one. And there's cougars in other spots, like this red bubble I mentioned up there, but plain view is the one or sorry, plain view is the one that I found the most cougars and I got attacked right away. It was pretty funny. It scared me, honestly. But um, the best way to do this is to uh, put on Deadeye and lock onto a cougar and whip that dynamite. It literally curves and chases them the entirety of the way, making for some pretty funny clips, as you can see right here. Oh, wow. Boom! This one was suicidal. And then his little cougar buddy tried to help him. Anyway, scrap three is kill and skin eight snakes. Now, there's no easy way to find, well, no, there is an easy way to find snakes, and it's to go to this location right here, which is in Torque, Torque Mata. I'm probably saying it wrong, Torque Mata. And you're gonna see, I'm just finishing up skinning a snake right here. And this spot right here, this is where you're gonna wanna go. And just literally, you gotta run around, run around this little top of this village, run back, and most likely, there's going to be another snake that just spawns right there. And I did this at least five times to, with success. The snake literally kept respawning and nothing has changed. You can keep doing it now. If it's not working for you, I suggest uh, saving and loading the game. That usually fixes it. If you don't find any snakes here, another good place to look is Twin Rocks. That's also one of the hot spots for snakes. Snakes also just appear wherever around the map too. So try to listen in for their hissing if you're having a real issue. So turn up your volume. You see, I didn't see the snake there, and I got bit. So that's also a good sign. Scrap four is kill the legendary jackalope. Now this is going to be in Rio Bravo. And the jackalope is literally a rabbit with antlers on it. And it is the most adorable thing I've ever seen. Not really, but it's really cute. Um, I'm chasing it right here just so you see what it looks like. You literally just have to shoot it. You don't even have to skin it. You just shoot it and you get the scrap. As you can see, it has antlers, and it looks like a rabbit, a normal rabbit. But um, you shouldn't have much difficulty finding it. Just run around the area a bit, and you should be able to locate it. There's also a couple cougars here too, if you're having issues with the scrap number two. Now, scrap number five is to complete Daedalus and Sun. I'm probably saying that's not wrong. Deadliest, Daedalus, Daedalus and Sun. Anyway, he's gonna appear right here trying to build a plane of sorts but he doesn't really have all the materials so he's gonna ask you to go get some. Hello there friend! You come to enjoy the scenery? I guess I have. What are you doing out here? You know, I'm trying to capitalize on the stiff upward breezes in this region to launch my first ever flight. Now these materials include 20 feathers, 5 beaver furs, and 10 red sage. Now the feathers is pretty self-explanatory, you just literally look up in the sky, kill anything, and you get feathers. Not anything, you gotta kill a bird, but anyway, any feathers you get are acceptable, so don't worry about that, that's the easiest. Now the red sage, you're gonna wanna, my suggestion actually, is get a survivalist map, and look around Rio Bravo, so the same sort of area where the cougars are, there's tons of red sage here. And this flower is easily identifiable by its red uh, top portion. I'm not sure the flower term for it, but 
it looks like what you think a red sage would look like. <laughs> Not being a flower expert in it or anything, you know. Now on to beaver furs. Beaver furs are going to be located near where the bears are, but I think I had the best rate of success when looking at the top part of the Great Plains near the river. I found lots of beavers in this area where my pointer's at right now, but these red circles that I created on the map over here, these are also where I found tons of beavers. Now as a Canadian, it, was, it always took a bit out of me to kill these beavers as I believe they're a national animal, but, you know, I had to do it. So once you're done collecting all the beavers, pelts, and all that stuff, you're going to want to go back to the location, and it should be, it should have set off the guy to interact with you again, which is the purple marker on your map when you get close to it. Now, he's going to tell you that he's going to need some time to uh, cook the materials, need time to prepare the materials. So, what you're going to want to do after you speak with him is save your game like four to eight times, and then load the game, and then come back to the guy and it should have reset the counter so that you could talk to him again and finish the stranger's task. Now right now I'm going to show you the John Marson shuffle where you repeatedly save and then quit and then save and then quit and John Marson literally just gets up sits back down. As you can see, John Marson doesn't lie down when he sleeps, he just crouches and sits on his butt like a true western hero. So anywho, it's daytime, we're going to go meet the guy, and I'm not going to spoil what happens for you, because I think you should experience it. I'm one of my favorite stranger quests, so I'm not going to spoil it for you. The person who merely watches the flight of a bird gathers the impression that the bird has nothing more to think of than the flapping of its wings. As a matter of fact, this is only a very small part of its mental labor. Mm, to even mention all the things a bird must constantly keep in mind in order to fly securely through the air would take the better part of a day. The bird has learned this art of equilibrium and learned it so thoroughly that its skill is not apparent to our sight. We only learn to appreciate it when we try to imitate it. And I, Charles Kinnear, will now demonstrate the miracle of flight. Into the wild blue yonder, Marston. <laughs> now that we finish, I'm gonna show you what you get. Now this hunter outfit, this master hunter outfit, is quite unique because of the headpiece, which is a badger, I think. It's funny because there's no badgers in the game, but it looks pretty cool. I really liked it. Thanks everybody for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will be making tons of videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday now. And this is just a preview of the next video coming, and it scares me. Peace out, guys.